Hello there. Hi, I'm Yvonne. Thank you for joining me. So this yoga practice is suitable for those who have practiced yoga before, not really suitable for complete beginners. So if you'd like to begin, uh, we're just going to get ourselves seated on our mat. So use a cushion or a block if you like, uh, seated, with, seated, seated with your legs crossed and um, either the shins in front of each other or like I am with the heels in front of each other. And relax your hands down on the legs. Just make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. You can close down the eyes. So just taking a moment or two here just to connect into your body. So noticing your sit bones connecting down to the floor or the block. Noticing the connection between your hands and your legs. Noticing the air on your skin. Feeling your breath in your body. Noticing the movement of your body as you breathe. So maybe at the chest or the tummy, or perhaps feeling the air at the nostrils. And using the breath as your anchor now throughout the practice. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and we'll begin our warm up. So start with the, the neck, you lower the right ear towards the right shoulder. It's a nice gentle stretch for the left side of the neck. And then we go the other way, left ear towards the left shoulder. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And back up to the center. Lower your chin down towards your chest. And raising your head back up and then lift up towards the sky. and then relax the head back to the center. So we'll come on to all fours here. So you take your hands beneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips, and we'll start our cat-cow movement. So on an inhale, you allow the tummy to lower down towards the floor. You bring the chest forward and you look forward. And on the exhale, begin to lower the tailbone down, round the back. Allow the head to come in last. And inhale, opening the front body again. And exhaling, rounding the spine. Press the floor away with the hands as a top, at the top of the movement. And we go one more. Inhaling. This is the cow pose. And exhaling into cat. Inhale, come back to neutral. So here we'll sit. We'll take the big toes together and bring the sit bones back towards the heels, coming into child's pose. So just lengthening out through the arms, you can lower your head down towards the floor, propping it up with the hands or the fists if you need to. If the forehead reaches the floor comfortably, go for that. So here in child's pose, the knees can be together or apart. And just take a few nice, big, deep breaths. See, can you feel your rib cage expanding at the back, just really stretching into the back muscles.
and then we'll walk the, ourselves back up. Take your hands beneath your shoulders, the knees are hip width distance apart. Draw the abdominal muscles in. We're going to lift out that right leg behind us and then lift out the left arm. So see with the both with the left arm and the right leg, see can you firm them a little bit more. And exhale, release both down and we'll go the other way. So we'll take the left leg out first, firming that left leg, we'll reach out through the heel and then reach out through the right arm. Breathing here. And then exhale, releasing both down. So we'll walk the hands slightly ahead of the shoulders, curl the toes under and lift the knees and we'll come into our first downward dog. So keep the knees bent here for a moment and then just taking the weight out of the hands a little. We keep the knees bent for a moment, just looking for a length in the spine. So thinking about the lower ribs going towards the thighs. And then we'll pedal the feet here. So lowering one heel down and then the other. Just giving a little bit of lengthening into the back of the legs. And then we'll start to walk the feet up towards the hands. So come into a gentle forward fold here. Keep the knees soft. Allow the head to lower down. Now engage the core here. So the belly button drawn in towards the spine. We'll take the hands onto the hips. And on an inhale, just press the floor away with the feet. And coming up to standing. So we'll come to Tadasana, stepping feet together to big toes touching, or you can have a little bit of space in between your feet, whichever feels most comfortable for you. So just grounding down the feet down into the mat, base of the big toe, the base of the little toe, and then the center of the heel. Draw the kneecaps up. So engage the quad muscles here and try and keep that engagement engage the abdominal muscles. We'll open the chest by bringing the shoulders up towards the ears and then rolling them back down the back. Feel the shoulder blades moving towards each other and then downwards. Got energy in the hands. Just lifting the chin slightly and drawing it in. We'll come into a couple of half sun salutations. I'll turn sideways for this. On an inhale, we lift the arms up overhead. You can take your gaze up to your hands if there's no issues with the neck. Exhale, we'll hinge here at the hips, bend the knees if you like, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So hands to the shins, flattening the back here. Exhale, fold over the legs again and inhale we'll rise up so as you come up bring the arms out to the sides circling overhead and on the exhale take the hands back to the heart and again lower the hands inhale sweeping the arms up exhaling our forward fold so lead with the sternum as you come down inhale halfway lift lengthening through the spine exhale fold over the legs inhale we'll rise up take the arms overhead fingers reaching exhaling hands back to the heart to tadasana one more inhaling arms coming up exhaling forward fold uttanasana Relax the head and the neck. Inhale, halfway lift. So if you're a little bit more open in the back of the legs, maybe the fingertips come to the floor. We lengthen through the spine here. Exhale, folding again over the legs. 
Inhale, rise. Take the arms out and up, reaching up, exhaling, hands back to the heart. Step to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step the left foot back. Left knee lowers down. On an inhale, we'll sweep the arms up. We'll open the front of the body, low lunge. Exhale, take the hands down, pick up the left knee, step the right foot back and adjust yourself into downward facing dog. So lengthening out through the spine. We just stay here for one more breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Lower the right knee down. Make sure that left foot is bright in the space between the hands and then we let go. Inhale, coming up with the arms. Exhale, hands down. Pick up the right knee, step the right foot up. Inhale here, long spine. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lifting the arms up and the body and exhale hands back to the heart and again inhaling sweep the arms overhead exhale uttanasana inhale halfway lift exhale step the right foot back right knee lowers inhale arms up exhale hands down Pick up the right knee, step the left foot back. Downward dog here for a breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot up. Left knee lowers down. Inhale, arms up. Low lunge. And exhale, hands down. Lift the left knee, step the left foot up. Inhale here, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting, circling the arms, up overhead. Exhaling, hands back to the heart. We'll go again, inhaling, circling up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, step the left foot back. Lowering down, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down. Pick up the left knee, step the right foot back. This time we go inhale, forward to high plank. So you take the shoulders over the wrists. Firm the legs here as best you can. Engage the abdominal muscles. And on your next exhale, we'll lower down. So bring down the knees all the way down onto the floor. Hands beneath the shoulders, tops of the feet pressing down. Lift the kneecaps, draw the shoulders back. On your next inhale, come to a mini cobra. So just peeling the chest away from the floor. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, mini cobra. Exhaling, releasing. Inhale, cobra, retract the going down. Exhale, release down. Two more. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale, releasing. And one more. Mini cobra, exhaling down. Curl the toes, press into the hands. Up and back for a downward facing dog. One breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, we'll step the left foot up. Right knee comes down. Inhale, low lunge, arms are up, reaching. Exhale, hands down. Pick up the right knee, right foot up to meet the left. Inhale here, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting up. We'll take the arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands back to the heart. And again, inhale, 
sweeping the arms overhead, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, step the right foot back, right knee down, inhale, low lunge, exhale, take the hands down, step the left foot back, engage the core, inhale, to high plank, breath or two here, Again, firming the legs, firming the abdominal muscles. So can you squeeze the arms towards each other? So really activate the arms. Exhaling, lower the knees down, all the way down onto the tummy. Prepare for cobra. On your next inhale, lifting the chest, shoulders away from the ears, elbows drawn into the side body. Exhale, release down. Four more. Inhale, rising. Exhale, releasing. Inhale. Can you see, can you press the pubic bone down into the floor? Exhaling, lowering. Two more. Inhale, release on the exhale. And one more. And lowering down. Curl the toes under, press into the hands, lift up and back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, looking forward between the hands, exhale, step the right foot up, lower the left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down, step the left foot up, inhale here, long spine. Exhale, release into a forward fold. Inhale, lifting up, circle the arms and exhaling, hands back to the heart. Lower the hands, inhale, circling up again. Exhale into the forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, both hands down, step both feet back this time. Inhale, we'll come to high plank. Now exhale here, you can lower down your knees, go knees all the way down to the floor, or you do your chaturanga. So if you're familiar with chaturanga, go for it and come into up dog. So up dog or cobra, exhale, back to downward facing dog. We're gonna hold down dog here for maybe five breaths. So check in with your hands, Press the base of the index finger and the thumb into the ground, into the, into the mat. And then rotate your upper arms outward. So real strong arms. And you can you bring your lower ribs a little bit more towards the thighs, the top of the thighs. Bend your knees, look forward on the next exhale, walk, step or hop, up and exhaling, inhale here and exhale, fold, inhale, rise, take the arms up overhead, exhaling, back to the heart, release the hands, bend the knees, now just take a little Peek down, make sure that you can. So we're going to bend and sit back, bend and sit back. Coming into chair pose, just make sure you can see your toes peeking out from beyond your knees. Engage the core. Inhale, we'll take the arms up. So we stay here in Utkatasana chair pose for a few breaths. So can you squeeze your hips towards each other? Squeeze the legs into, in towards each other and then firm the arms. On your next exhale, come into a forward fold. You can have the knees bent if you like. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, both hands down, stepping both feet back. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, back to downward dog. Inhale, coming to plank. 
exhale moving back try to ripple back into downward dog we'll go one more so you come up high on the heels lifting them up and then bringing the shoulders over the wrists and exhale back to down dog inhale this time you come forward and then exhale releasing down chaturanga if you're going there up dog or cobra exhale back to down with facing dog so another five breaths here so once you get that length in the spine then think about moving the tops of the thighs back don't be too concerned if your heels don't reach the floor and breathe here ujjayi breath on your next inhale look forward between the hands on the exhale walk step or hop both feet up inhale lengthening through the spine exhale uttanasana forward fold now bend the knees here on your next inhale we'll come to chair again chair pose so into utkatasana so sitting back draw your tailbone a little bit downwards towards the floor to protect the lower back to lengthen out through the lower back on your next exhale you take your hands to your heart inhale here lower down a little bit more and on the exhale you're going to twist to your right i'll turn this way Twist to your right, take your left elbow to the outside of that right knee. So chair with a twist. Just check here that one knee hasn't shot ahead of the other. Try to keep them in line with each other. On your next exhale, undo the twist, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, we'll rise up exhale palms together back to the heart coming back into chair check your toes check that you can see them check the lower back lengthen out there on your next exhale lowering down and twisting to your left so you take your right elbow to the outside of the left knee keep the knees in line try to squeeze the hips towards each other and then just using that connection between the elbow and the outside of the left leg to try and see can you open up into the twist a little bit more on your next exhale undo the twist knees are bent inhale we'll rise up to standing exhale hands back to the heart so we'll step the feet out wide you turn towards the top of your, your right foot out and the left foot turned in. Line up the heel of the right foot with the instep of the left foot. On an inhale, we'll take the arms up. Exhale, bend that front knee into warrior two. So just taking the knee over the ankle, track the knee towards the little toe side of that right foot. Engage the quad muscles in the left foot. Stay here for a few breaths. Reach out through the arms. Make sure that your arms are at shoulder height on both sides. On your next exhale, we're going to take that right forearm to the top of the right thigh, lifting the left arm up and alongside the ear. So you can rotate your hand here, your left hand, the little finger side of the hand down towards the floor. Some of you may take the hand down on the inside of that right leg or maybe on the outside. So just go with whatever feels good for you. With each exhale here, see can you open out the chest, lifting the heart up towards the sky and if it feels okay on the neck, a simple turn of the head 
to that upper left arm. Ujjayi breath here. Use the breath to help you in the pose. Take your gaze back to neutral. On the next inhale, we'll lift up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Let's change to the other side. So it's the left foot forward, the right foot turned in. Okay, on an inhale, arms to shoulder height, sharpening out through the arms. Exhale, bend that left knee. So left knee above the left ankle. So if you feel like you'd like to go a little bit deeper and you're already there, then just scoot the back foot back a bit more. Take your stance a little bit wider. So we'll hold warrior two and here focusing on your breath. On your next exhale, take your left forearm to the top of that left thigh. Let's lift that right arm up and taking it alongside the ear. Rotate the little finger side of the hand down towards the floor. Use that connection between the forearm and the top of the th or the top of the thigh to help you open out, open the chest up towards the sky. Keep the back leg working. Take your gaze back to neutral. On an inhale, we'll lift the arms up and exhale. This time, but we, we'll take both feet back. Do a little vinyasa here. Inhale to plank. Exhale down. Inhale upward dog or cobra. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Connect the hands, connect the feet. Connect the hands down, engage the arms. Engage the core here. On your next inhale, we're gonna lift that right leg, lifting it up. Now here, as we lift up, I want to see, can we have like an inward rotation of that right leg? So the toes aren't shooting out to the side as we lift up. I wanna really firm that right leg. toes pointing down towards the floor and then exhale release down inhale we lift the left leg up and then again just an inward rotation of that left leg pressing out through the heel of the left foot and exhale releasing down inhale lift the right leg again Exhaling, you step that right foot through, ground down through the right foot. You're on the ball of the left foot. Strong legs here on an inhale, we'll lift up to a high lunge and then sink just into the lunge as best you can. Reach out through that back heel, work towards straightening the back leg. Just check here that the knee is over the ankle, track it a little bit towards the the, or track it towards the little toe side of that right leg. Now on your next exhale, you're gonna take the hands down, take them to the heart, and we're gonna come out of the lunge a little bit on the front leg, and then just a little hop, bring the back foot forward a little bit more. Now settle yourself here, get the balance. We're gonna keep a slight bend in that front knee for the moment, engage the core, and you're going to take all most of the weight onto that right leg and you can work towards straightening it begin to be uh, to lift the left leg back behind you we're bringing the torso to where it's parallel to the floor lifting that left leg seeing can we get it parallel to the floor now some of you might like to stay here keep the shoulders drawn back or some of you might like to reach the arms forwards. So that little inward rotation of the leg we were just doing in down dog. See, can you do that here also? And exhaling back. Lower the hands down. Bring that right foot back. 
inhale to plank exhale down inhale up dog or cobra exhale back to downward dog inhale lift the left leg exhale step that left foot through stay on the ball of the right foot inhale coming up to high lunge exhaling here so a couple of breaths in high lunge so can you knit your lower ribs down towards the pubic bone so you're not over arching in the back lengthen out through the right heel on your next exhale take the hands to the heart and we're going to do a little shimmy up now coming into warrior three weight onto the left leg we're lowering the torso to where it's parallel to the floor keep the shoulders drawn back and we lift that right leg up again ro an inward rotation of that right leg now stay here if you like or some of you might like to reach out through the arms it's a little bit more challenging and bring the hands back lower that back foot down take the hands down either side of the front foot stepping the front foot back inhale to plank exhale down inhale up dog or cobra exhale back to downward facing dog bring your knees to the floor big toes touch sit bones back towards the heels lowering down onto the mat now for some of you it might be comfortable to take the arms alongside by the legs so go for that if you wish a few breaths in child's pose I'm going to turn around when we come out of child's pose you take your hands either side of the head and then press into the floor lift yourself up walk the hands forwards walk the feet back and lower down all the way down we're going to take our elbows underneath the shoulders so we're preparing for sphinx pose before we start before we lift up take the elbows a little bit ahead of the shoulders same setup for cobra so as cobra tops of the feet pressing down lift the kneecaps elbows beneath the shoulders or slightly ahead hands out straight out from the elbows you want to engage the core here cubic bone presses down we're look, looking here to broaden across the collarbones broaden across the chest Feel the shoulder blades moving towards each other. So to be sure that you're not over dumping into the lower back, press the pubic bone down, tailbone going down towards the heels. On your next exhale, you can just walk the slide the elbows forwards, lower down, press, place one hand on top of the other. And just rest your forehead here. So very carefully. You're going to roll onto your back. And we're going to come into a little uh, lying twist for the body. So we'll straighten out the right leg, bend the left leg, left foot on the floor, arms out to the sides. Some of you might like to shift over onto the outside of that right hip. So press the left foot into the floor, lift the bum up 
and then a little bit of a movement over onto that right hip and then on your next exhale just allowing that left leg to fall to the right keep the left shoulder grounded on the floor so you can take the left arm out to the side if you like if it helps you can gently guide that left leg to the right by placing your right hand down on the left leg and then if it feels okay you can turn your head to the left On your next inhale, take your gaze forwards, back to neutral. Exhale, undo the twist. And we'll change over. So we'll straighten out the left leg, bend the right leg, right foot is on the floor. Maybe press into that right foot, lift the bum up and shift over onto just a little bit onto the outside of that left hip. On your next exhale, just allowing the left leg to fall to the sorry the right leg to fall to the left we keep the right shoulder grounded on the floor and you turn your head to the right and just breathe in here a couple of breaths nice full deep breath helping you with the twist On your next inhale, take the gaze to neutral. Exhale, undo the twist. You can bend both knees here. Now, if you have a, a strap nearby, this might be handy. So we're coming into Sukta Padagastasana. So it's reclined, hand to big toe pose. So you're going to draw the right knee in towards your chest. You wrap a strap or a scarf or a tie, whatever you have, around the sole of the foot. And you're gonna straighten out that right leg. Walk your hands up the strap. And then draw the shoulders back onto the floor. So the back of the shoulders are down. And then some of you here might like to slide that left leg away, if that feels okay for you. Just keep that left leg active, pressing the back of that left leg into the floor, the left toes lifting, lifting up. So the left foot is flexed. So we're just working with this pose here, just going with what you can for the back of the leg. You can maybe even close down your eyes and just use the breath again to help you with the pose to soften a little bit more on the exhale. Now take both ends of the strap in the right hand, place your left hand just up front of the left hip, just try to keep it there and then we'll allow that right leg to come out to the side. So slide your hands, your hand, your right hand down the straps if you need to. You could place your right elbow on the floor. Now here, see, can you imagine like you're bringing your belly button back towards the left? So we have an engagement in the core here. We don't want the whole body leaning over to the right. On your next inhale, bringing that right leg back, bending the left leg, bending the right leg, undo the strap. And we'll go to the other side. So we'll draw the right knee in, wrap the strap around your left foot, press out through that left foot. So you can straighten that left leg. It doesn't need to be going straight or up vertically. You walk your hands up the strap and then draw your shoulders back onto the floor. Slide that right leg away if you fancy it. 
placing, well, pressing down through the back of that right leg. So keeping it active, right foot is flexed. Tune into the pose. Now we'll take both ends of the strap in the left hand, place the right hand just at the front of the right hip. And your next exhale, begin to allow that left leg to fall out to the left. Slide your hands down the strap or your hand, your left hand down the strap. And rest your left elbow on the floor. Draw the belly button back towards the right. That kind of action there where we have the abdominals engaged. On your next inhale, taking the strap or the leg back to the center, bring in the right leg, bend that right knee, bend the left leg and undo the strap. So here, just want to get into those glutes a little bit after all our work on our standing poses. So we'll take the right ankle just above the left knee, coming into our <coughs> reclined pigeon. So flex the right foot here. If this is enough of a stretch for you here, you stay here. Otherwise, you may want to lift that left leg up, take a hold of the thigh, the back of the thigh by wrapping the hands around. Keep that right foot flexed. And again, just tuning in to the sensations of the pose. On the next exhale, release the left foot down. Let's change over. So the left leg, left ankle, just above the right knee, flex the left foot. And if you'd like to lift the right leg, go for it now. You can draw that, support that right leg with the hand. Keep the left foot flexed. On your next exhale, lowering that right leg down and the left leg. You can draw both knees in towards the chest here. Maybe a little rock from side to side. You can lower the feet down now and we're coming into Shavasana. So setting yourself up, maybe placing a an extra layer over you or a blanket. And then once you get yourself sorted, coming into Shavasana, allow some space between the legs. Make sure that the head is comfortable. Some people like to put a, a rolled up blanket under their knees. If when you lie back with your legs fully outstretched and you've got issues in the lower back, then maybe bend the knees, take the feet to the outside edge of the mat, allow the knees to fall in towards each other. So they're just propping each other up so you don't have to hold them. Take the arms out to the sides, a little bit of space between the arms and the side body and the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. comfortable place for your head and close down the eyes gently. Feel the connection between the back of your head and the floor. 
the back of the shoulders and the arms all along the back the back of the pelvis the back of the legs the heels and just allow a sense of softness a sense of letting go come about the body with each exhale over the next few breaths allow the body to soften that little bit more and to become heavy allow the floor to take the weight of your body Begin to gently reawaken the body, bringing some very small movements to the fingers and the toes. And in your own time, Begin to bend your knees and roll over onto your right side. You're going to stay here for a few moments. So support your head with your right arm. You can bend the knees right up. And then using your left hand, pressing it strongly into the floor. You can bring yourself up to a seated position in your own time. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class. Namaste.